Hey folks, this is just a quick video showing you how to test a ballast from a high pressure sodium light or a metal halide light or a mercury lamp. So what a ballast does is it just controls the current that goes to the bulb and prevents it from drawing too much power and burning itself out. Essentially controls the heat within the bulb, keeping it at the right temperature and current draw. So to test these, they are just essentially a wire wound transformer or choke. So it's just one continuous wire between the two poles. So to test that, we get our multimeter and we put it to the ohm setting and we go between the two terminals. And we should be looking for a low reading, low ohms, for example, around two or three ohms. So here we're getting 3.2 ohms on this. So that's perfectly acceptable. It shows that the loop of wire is intact and not burnt out. There are different types of ballasts. This is another 250 watt one, and it has four taps on it. The four taps are for four different voltages. So this uh, ranges between 220, 230, 240, and 250 volts. So here again, we can test between our input and we'll say the 240 volt tap. This one gives us 1.7 ohms. Between the different taps we're getting 1.8 ohms, 1.5 ohms, 1.6 ohms. So again the integrity of the coil of wire inside it is what we're looking at. When these fail generally the coil it draws too much current and the coil will burn out which results in a light lamp not lighting at all. The way these can fail is that the insulation inside them breaks down and they'll buzz very loudly. So if they do fail, there's nothing can be done. You just have to replace them with a new one, but they are very easy to test. Cheers. Bye-bye.